In today's technology-driven society, do personal notes still work? Hey everyone, we're gonna be talking about personal notes today. I just received two personal notes. Uh, one from my mother thanking me for Mother's Day. Yep, she's on her game. Um, also got one from an old client who's been watching some of these posts on Facebook and said it's just great to see you um, talking about real estate. I miss the days when we bought purchase in, uh, purchasing homes. So I gotta say, it touched me to get these personal notes. I'm a huge personal note person. I hate gifts. I'll take a personal handwritten note all day long over gifts. It's really weird, but that's just my personality. But the personal notes are so important to real estate. It's nothing new, right? I get my personal notes every single month by Buffini and Company. Shout out to Buffini and Company. You guys are awesome. I used to have a coach there. Um, and as you can see, I have some leftover notes from them. Now, they send 50 notes every single month. I got through my 50. I doubled that up, I did 100. So yes, that's right, I wrote 100 notes every single month to clients, to uh, colleagues, to realtors on the other side. So if I was doing a deal with a listing agent or a buyer's agent, I'd write them a personal note. My vendors, my lenders, my plumbers, my painters, my attorneys, all of them. I was the note king. That's what they called me, the note king. I wrote 100 notes every single month for over 26 months straight. So you're probably asking, how do I really know if I did that? My assistant would grab my notes every single day and put them on my desk and say, here you go, get them done. Now, everyone kind of complains and says, oh, I don't have time. I was doing over 250 deals a year during those times, and guess what? I was writing the notes. So you have time, you're probably watching, I don't know, reality TV, or um, on Facebook looking at you know, posts that you probably shouldn't. Let me just show you how long it takes to write a personal. Let me just, let's just, don't sleep. Watch this, I open the card, I write, dear client, it was great to see you during this time. Whatever you wanna say. The best is yet to come. Your cool, awesome, radical agent, Tyler. Done. That's how easy it is. So if you think you can't write any personal notes, here's what I say. Start with one, which is weak sauce, by the way. Writing one note a day is weak sauce. It's the beginner level, but that's okay. I know we got some beginners listening, so let's start with one a day. Write five a week, okay? Five a week, 20 a month. From there, I want you to write two a day. From there, I want you to write three a day. You should be writing three notes a day within 90 days. If you don't, that means you have no accountability system, you probably need accountability, and you need someone to hold your hand to write personal notes, which is pretty pathetic. These notes here helped me get a lot of business, okay? Think about when you get a personal note, how you feel. We're so busy with technology and text messaging and the internet and Facebook and all this stuff. When you get to stop and smell the roses and look at a personal note, I don't know about you guys, but it's nice to get one. It's out of the norm. And my clients still to this day, I still write tons of personal notes. And the people I write them for and write them to, love and appreciate them. Go out there and write notes. Get on this note train. Fall back in love. It's nothing new. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing, oh my gosh. I didn't put it on steroids because a personal note does not need to be put on steroids. It just needs to be done and executed.